The question is seven then from the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 1. Five mark question this time. It's in two parts, A and B, but really it's just the one part. Really it should just have said, what's the value of sine Q minus R? Because you would have to find sine R and cos R and sine Q and cos Q in order to do that. But still, you've got this diagram here to unravel, to find the individual sines and cosines of the R's and Q's. So rather than copy that diagram down, I'd rather split them apart so I can see the R and the Q quite clearly. The lower part there looks like this. That's the D, E and A. And the sides are 1, and then 1 and 2 makes that 3. And there's the angle R. So now with that, I can finish that off and get sine, cos, tan, whatever I want. The other triangle is this one not quite drawn to scale. This is the one with Q in it, the whole angle there. That's the triangle ABC. Now that side is 2, this side is root 13. Now I can go ahead and find what it wants. First of all, what's sine of R? Well, to get the sine I need the hypotenuse. Well, 1 and 3, 1 squared and 3 squared is 10, so that's root 10. You could put down the working if you like, but I think it's enough just to put it into the diagram there. Same on this side, be best. Same on this side here, we've got square this side. This side here will be this squared minus that squared, because that has to be the biggest one. So 13 minus 4 is 9, so the square root of 9 is 3. Now, there's no marks yet for doing all of that. You don't get the marks because there's only one mark until you actually feed that in. So what's the sine of R? Well, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's 1 upon root 10. OK, that's a mark. And then it says, what's the sine of Q? So back to this triangle. Well, the sine of Q, it's, it's opposite over its hypotenuse. 3 over root 13. I guess that mark. Part B. Hence determine the value of sine Q minus R. So that was actually still part A, that one. Well, you just look up the front. You look up the front for this difference and you'll find, just depending which letters you use, but we're using Q's and R's here, it's sine Q cos R, then keep the sine the same, switch partners. So you can either do cos Q sine R or keep them in the same order and switch. So sine r cos q, as long as they switch over. And in fact, just doing that gets a mark, just copying it from the front. But copying it from the front and putting in not a's and b's, but q's and r's. You just take this. You're probably safer taking it from the original diagram in case you made a mistake here. Just that'll give you a double check. So sine of q, opposite over hypotenuse. 3 over root 13. Cos of R, adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 over root 10. Minus sine of R, opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over root 10. Cos of Q, adjacent over hypotenuse, 2 over root 13. Now, very handily, of course, they've got the same denominators, so you can tidy that up into one denominator, and you might as well multiply them out at the same time. So that's going to be root 13 times root 10 is the square root of 130, which unfortunately doesn't tidy up. You can quickly check it by seeing if there's any perfect squares lurking in there. Well, 4 doesn't go in, 9 doesn't go in, and by the time you get to, 10's not a perfect square, but that's 10 13's, so you've run out of possible factors. So what's the top? You've got 9 take away 2, so that means the final answer is 7 over root 130. Now, there was two marks. First mark was just for putting in this bunch of correct values, and the final mark wasn't until you got this sorted out, 
making sure it was simplified, but that is as simple as it gets.